battery just doesn't hold up. You want to run through it one more time? Yeah, from the top. I, I know it looks bad, but I'm telling you, I didn't have anything to do with this. It all started with a simple photo session. She came into my office and asked for an appointment because she wanted to do some portfolio photos. Chris, there's a woman here to see you about some photos. Okay, go ahead, send her in. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Miss. Uh... Please, call me Mia. Good afternoon, Mia. Please, have a seat. Is that your, um, casting couch? No, no, it's not like that at all. <laughs> Too bad. Anyway, I was wanting to take some portfolio photos. I'm thinking about doing a little modeling, and I need some up-to-date photos. And I hear you're the man for the job. I'd like to think so. When do you want to schedule some studio time? Tomorrow? Say, two in the afternoon? Sounds perfect. Tomorrow it is. So you've never met her before? No, I swear. I've never even seen her before. <laughs> Believe me. You would remember a woman like that. It's perfect, you look amazing. The camera absolutely loves you. Um, I think that's a wrap. Well, there should be fine for my portfolio, but um, I kinda wanted to do something a little more edgy. Maybe even Dangerous? New game? Oh, I'm definitely game. What do you have in mind? Maybe at my house? Ten? Tonight? I'll take care of you for everything then. That part of your story stacks up. But it's the bullshit about the photos that I'm having a hard time buying. Yeah, so tell me again about the photos. Like I said, I put the memory card into the computer and was shocked at what I saw. That is what I didn't see. Hey, Mia, it's Chris. Hey, um, we've got a problem with the photos we took today. Don't worry about those. Those aren't really the photos I'm interested in. Yeah, but I'm still really concerned about the- I said don't worry. Just make sure you bring your camera tonight. I want these images to be raw. Okay. See you then. So, you went over to her place? Yeah. What time did you get there? 10 o'clock, straight up. I mean, I didn't want to miss out on whatever take very good care of you meant. That's a problem for you, Chris. That makes you the last person to see her alive and places you at the crime scene at the time of death. I'm telling you, she was alive when I left her place. I, I didn't do this, guys. I, I must be getting set up. Yeah, you're getting set up. Set up to do life without parole. So, why don't you tell us what happened next? What are you worried about? It's just make-believe. I know, but photos of you lying here strangled and dead, I, I don't know, it just seems weird. Well, that's not the only strange fetish I have.
So you went on to shoot photos of Mia lying dead on the floor? Yeah, I did, but just like the others, there wasn't anything I shot with her showing up in them. Everything was there, the, the carpet, the furniture, the garage, everything. That is, except Mia. I, I know it's hard to believe. I, I swear to you, there wasn't any sign of her anywhere. I'm so tired of this shit. He's just trying to set up his insanity plea. Daniels, show him what we got. Hello, Chris. What we have here are prints from the photos we got off of your computer. And the memory card from your camera. All from the two photo sessions you had with Mia. Yeah, photo boy. Doesn't look like you're having a hard time seeing Mia in these. Show them the other photos. These are the crime scene photos. Look familiar? It's almost like you shot these. He's guilty, man. Body positioning is the same. Murder weapons in the same spot. How do you explain these? Uh, I, uh... Why don't you just save yourself the trouble? Come clean. I'm telling you, man, I didn't do this! Look, we got a dead body down the morgue with your fingerprints on it. We've got your fingerprints on the murder weapon. You've got your own bragging photos of the dead body and the murder scene. You know what else we got? We've got an open and shut case. Daniels, get this scum out of here. Harris here. Detective Harris, this is Dr. Wells from the morgue. I have some disturbing news I need to share with you. What you got, Doc? You know that DB Mia Jameson from the strangulation case? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but the body's gone missing. What do you mean, missing? Just that. I locked the door to go for a dinner break, and when I got back, the body was just gone sign of break-in or struggle or anything just gone like it vanished into thin air and that ain't all what do you mean that ain't all well I checked to see if the file was missing and I looked at it and what what the photos they were weird she wasn't in any of them I mean everything I shot it's like she never even existed I'm looking into it now but I just wanted to give you a heads up Shit. Let me get back to you. 